All right, Chris and Brody back, and we are going to work on our front foot. What you have to remember about these um, Scotties is that their feet are very crooked sometimes, and that they're very uncomfortable if you stretch that front leg out. And you know, they get quite aggressive when they're uncomfortable. So use the outside edge of your foot and just stick flat to the pads, but don't go directly over the pad. Okay, then when you get that, you're going to comb this down and hopefully they'll stand for you. All right, you're going to want to comb it. I try to comb everything to one side and come around the edge. Try to think straight when you're coming across. Hi, bud. And then turn your head that way and then come straight across their toes and then comb everything towards the inside and you're going to come straight across and cut, you know, cut all that code out, but it's a straight line. And then if you end up with like a little square or triangle corner here, then you'll round that corner in and that way you'll automatically fix an unsound dog without trying. But you can see how uncomfortable he is. His pasterns are very broken. Okay. So I'm going to lift all this code up. All right, I'm going to let him stand, stand, good boy. And I'm going to blend all that in to my foot. All right, now, if you've got like marks or steps in your feet, that's a good time to take your blenders around the outside edge, but just around the outside edge. Um, got to watch their toenails. The beveled edge shears are actually better equipped to handle hitting a toenail than your um, convex edge. So just remember that if you do a lot of feet, um, a lot of scissoring, it's nice to have a beveled blending shear to do around that foot. And um, the Oster brand would be the Kazoo that you can get on myoster.com.